everybody and welcome to AHN Arena at Peters Township for a matchup between Peters Township and the Ringgold Rams. A little bit of an earlier start today at 6 o'clock and ball is ready to go up and we're off. Dunbar controls the tip and up come the Indians. Donovan drives in, pulls up and gets quick deuce for the Indians. Indians set up in their full court man. And Rams defeat that fairly easily. Indians have played this full court man all, all year long. Nice rebound by Dunbar, up they come. Miller thinks about it into the corner. Good ball movement by the Indians. And we're gonna get a tie up. And we're gonna go down the other way, Rams. 
two nothing in the early going. So Donovan, Aspinwall, Miller, Dunbar, and Mills. Mills tries to take the charge. Good no call. Three ball up, off the front. Dunbar controls, Mills gets it. He gets hammered. Nice sportsmanship by the Rams. And that foul is on the junior. Goggins, his first. And the Rams are going to set up. Looks like they're going to drop into a 3-2 zone. I'm not really looking to trap, but they do extend it a little bit. Nice high-low. Mills gets tied up, gets it out to Miller. Three ball up and good. Nate Miller, the senior. Gives the Indians an early 5-0 lead. It'll be Donovan's turn. Token pressure. Indians. Quick lead pass to Dunbar. Tries to feed it in. Miller controls. Mills for three. In and out. Dunbar gets it. And gets it to go and draws the foul. Nice and strong underneath by the Indians there. So Indians will substitute Vaccarello in. We're going to get Sean Thelk in. And McCullough will come in for the shooter. And Dunbar out. 8 nothing. Early going, Indians. Here comes a double team by the Indians. And they beat it. Rams. Indians dropped back after that pressure. Looked for a split second like the Rams might have a uh, two on one and break to the basket. But the, Ram the Indians dropped back and forced the ball out of bounds. Good defense by the Indians. There's a back door. Good play by Miller. Almost got that to go off the Ram player. Indians pitching a shutout early on here. Indians double team in that. Short corner. Oh, we're going to get a body. As Aiden and Gotti stepped on the sideline, but he was forced out. So we're going to get a foul on McCullough, his first. Up and under, off the back, no good. Up come the Indians. McCullough goes in hard. He draws it. Indians move the ball up quickly. Dunbar and Donovan in. And we're going to get a timeout. Full timeout from the Rams. So the Indians come in with a seven and four record. And they come off a significant victory versus Connellsville earlier this week. 
cracking the 100-point barrier with a 102-38 victory. But just prior to that, coming off a, a disappointing loss to section, what now is section rival Thomas Jefferson, coming off a 90-74 loss, which was very disappointing for the Indians. So that puts the Indians at one and one in section section play, section one of the 5A, while the Rams come in at three and nine and 0 oh and two in section play. They are coming off a loss to Thomas Jefferson, 73 to 37. We throw no good. We walk right into a double team, but up come the Rams. Pulls up from 10 and then puts the Rams on the board. Sets Cesare Dungy. Big skip pass. Donovan thinks about it. Another skip pass. Dunbar buries it. 13-2 Indians. Here comes a double team. And Dunbar just snatches that away. Donovan goes in, lays it in. Nice bounce pass by Dunbar. Hanging, and he gets it to go. Dunbar going to get called for the foul. And that'll send Aiden and Gotti to the line. Greco in for the Indians. And the free throw's good. <clears throat> Rams looked to, to put some full court. Donovan buries a three. He had he had a post up man underneath, but chose to hit the three and just buried it. And we're gonna stay at this end. Rams. Aspen all in. Inside out, three is up, and that's good by the big guy. Maddox Suss. 18-8, Indians. Indians couldn't get that to go. Numbers for the Rams. Euros, and gets it to go. That's Daryl Tolliver. There's a steal, sloppy play. Numbers. And a couple quick baskets. This pressure's bothering the Indians a little bit. Nice pass by Dunbar. And Aspinall gets it to go. Indians have not seen a lot of pressure this season so far. Baseline, three is up, off the mark, up come the Indians. Indians. Miller for Thelk, 221 left in the first.
Rams have pretty much stuck with their starting five. The Indians have substituted liberally. Miller for three. Off the back iron, gets his own rebound. Beautiful pass in. And Thomas Aspinwall, all in one move, grabs the ball, goes up, takes the contact, makes, puts the ball off the backboard, drops it, and will go to the free throw line. Goggins will pick up his second. And that was good. That gives Aspinall, Aspinall five points in the quarter. And we're gonna step on the sideline, Indians. Indians making a dis deserted effort to make the Rams go up the left-hand side and the Rams just wanna keep going to the right and it cost them that time. Rams drop into a man. Back door cut was there. Miller left wide open. I don't think you want to do that. Miller drops the three. And just as I say, they want to force them to the left. And he capitalized on going down the left-hand side. That'll be at first on Aspinall. Twenty-six, fourteen, Indians. One thirty-four left in the first. Free throw, no good. Miller across half court, easy pass to Aspinall. Misses his layup, he gets his own rebound, but he gets hacked. And that's the fourth, check, check that, that's the fifth team foul. Dungi picks up his second. And we will shoot two. In and out. Second one's pure. Good cross court play. Cross, a lot of, and he gets the finish. Tolliver. Miller's gonna pick one up. That's on Dimitri Lowe. Six one freshman, his first. Off the back iron. 105 to go. Second one's good. An inbound pass right at the feet of Tolliver. Too hot to handle, so it's gonna go back to the Indians. Out to the corner, McCullough for three, and he buries it. He gets on the three-point sh shooting parade. And we get another turnover, Indians.
And the Rams are going to take a timeout and talk things over. 55.4 left in the first. Your Peters Township Indians, 31. Ringgold, 16. Ringgold comes in with a uh, three-game losing streak. They had a nice win right after Christmas against California. And then since then, have dropped three in a row. Uh, most recently, I think I mentioned to Thomas Jefferson, and then right, bef right before that, right after the first of the year, they lost 70-52 to 52 to Bethel Park. So this is a tough section for, for Ringgold, kind of playing playing up a little bit as some of the other more traditional 6A teams are dropped into five. Three is up. Miller keeps it alive. McCullough gets it over. Down to 43 seconds. Mills operates in, gets to the basket, and rolls it in with his left. Really nice play by Mills. Rams inbound, up they come. Rams look to set their offense. And we're gonna get a block. I think, I think Mills thought he had it. The coaching staff from the Indian side thought he had it, had the charge also. Tolliver went in there a little out of control, but he gets the call. Two shots. Mills picks up his first. 17.4 left. Second one's in and out. McCullough clears. Mills at the top with eight, seven, kicks it out. Three is on its way and it's good. Really nice play by Mills to draw the, draw the defense and kick it to the corner for, for Greco to bury it. So through one, Peters puts up the big 36 and Ringgold 17. Indian, in, excuse me, the Indians way beyond their normal uh, scoring. They're averaging one of the, or they're one of the top 10 Whitfield teams on the offensive side. They've been averaging 71.6 per game and they've got about half of that in the first quarter here this evening. On the, on the flip side, 17 for Ringgold is, is not, a, not a horrible number. That puts them above what, what Peters Township usually gives up at 59, but you're not gonna win a lot of games when you give up 36 points in a quarter. Possession arrow to the Indians. So we've got Delkin Donovan, Dunbar, Mills, and Vaccarello for the Indians. Rams drop into a man. Nice back door. Mills with an easy layup. Vaccarello, great look. Indians. Dunbar pulls it off the left side of the rim. Donovan controls and he gets hit from behind. A lot of ball. 
But that'll send, that'll send Donovan to the line. Donovan with seven so far this evening. Off the mark. Suss picks up his second foul and he'll have a seat. Low in for the Rams. Another freshman in for the Rams, Braylon Lomax, six foot guard. And Donovan connects on the second one. Near still by Mills, Rams. Somebody's got to come to the ball for the Rams and they throw it away. Indians. All right, up come the Indians. Delk drives out, kicks it. Dunbar for three. That gives Dunbar nine this evening. Indians drop back. Nice drop pass. Indians playing some good defense. Rams pull it out. And a nice move by Tolliver. That gives him nine. Mills drives baseline, kicks it to Dunbar, just short. Rams bring it up. You get the double team, and there's a steal by Donovan. In comes Mills. He gets it up. And Jack Dunbar finishes. Indians 44, Ringgold 19, 602 left in the half. That foul was on Tolliver, that's his first. And that's off the mark. Dunbar runs his own rebound down. Oh, can't get the reverse to go. Almost a really nice play. And the Rams dribble it on the baseline. It'll be Indians ball. Around the horn come the Indians. Nice cut by McCullough. Threes off the mark, Rams control the rebound. Up they come. And that's Tolliver again. The Indians just beat the Rams right down the court. But Tolliver's made that move from his left a couple times. He's got 11 in the half. Stretch pass. Dangerous pass there. And big block by Dunbar. Oh, can't get, McCullough can't get it to go. That was nearly a goaltending by uh, Dunbar at the other end. And we're gonna get a foul. 
They're going to get Jack Dunbar second. He's going to have a quick seat. 5.02 left in the half. Turnover. McCullough comes up with it, and up he comes. Head up into the corner. Donovan for three. Off the back iron. Up come the Rams. And we're going to get Greco. Just a little contact. That's his first. Fouls are 2-2 so far this quarter. Nice drop pass, but the Rams can't get it to go. Up come the Indians. Uh, oh, and McCullough steps on the baseline. Boy, the Indians were quick getting up the court. Rams. Good defense by the Indians. Skip. Air ball, and Indians come up with it. And they throw it away. The Rams are not looking for the three-point shot as, as much as the Indians are. Numbers for the Rams. Easy layup. Chris That's Chris Wilson, freshman. Back tap. Rams have a chance to put a little run together. Near steal by McCullough. Three thirteen left in the half. Peters Township, 46, Ringgold, 23. And we're going to get a timeout from the Rams. That'll be their third. It'll be 32nd. The Rams have had a, at least the last couple games, have had a tough time in the first quarter in their last game. Granted, it was against Thomas Jefferson, who is 2-0 in the conference and 8-2 and overall. They got down early 24-11 in the first quarter. And then also against Bethel Park, they got down 25-6 in the first quarter just like they did here against the Indians. And uh, that is a big uphill march to try to get back into it. So 3.09 to go in the half. Rams will inbound the ball. Double team comes from the Indians, and the Indians make a nice steal. Mills up to Dunbar, and he lays it in with the right. Streaking down the right wing gives Dunbar. That gives Dunbar 15 for the half. Indians really looking to be active on the defense. Donovan tips it out, Rams ball. Oh. 
three is up. Just a little short, Indians. Man to man from the Rams, Donovan gets into the paint and he'll draw a foul. Lowe picks up his second. Donovan buries his free throw. Donovan does not get the roll. Rams control. Mills nearly had the steal. He'll pick up a foul. Indians still in that aggressive man. Oh, ball came right into Thelk's lap. Nice scoop, he can't get it to go. And we're gonna stay at this end, Rams. There's gonna be another night where the Indians are gonna to need to grab those loose balls. Four across for the Rams. Three is on its way. Off the backboard, up come the Indians. Donovan draws contact and gets it to go. Indians across the half century mark. Double team. Rams across half court. And a little sloppy on the Indians end. Not now. And Dunbar finishes. Indians up by 30. 140 left. Here comes a double team. And he stepped on the half court line. The pressure just suffocating the Rams at this point. So for the Indians now, we have Aspinall, Miller, Greco, Vaccarello, and McCullough. Miller goes into the lane, beautiful pass. And Vaccarello couldn't get it to go. Controlled by the Rams, and up they come. And Vaccarello sticks his hand in the cookie jar and gets called for it. That's only his first. Steal by Aspinall. Hey, he just can't control it. He tipped it toward his own basket. Couldn't run it down. Rams. There's a scoop, but he can't get that one to go. Out come the Indians again, McCullough. Bobbles, but he's gonna take it in. Oh, we can't get it to go. That was a nice move if it finished. 45 to go in the half, double team. Good skip pass, three on the way, uncontested. Nice rebound by 23, another three up. Goggins made a nice rebound. Indians go up. A little sloppy at the moment. 
up come the Rams. Rams ball under their own basket. 20.5 to go. When we get Sean Felk into the game for Vaccarello. Donovan in for Miller. Mills in for Greco. Dunbar in for McCullough. Looked like a hockey game there for a second. Another scoop, just can't get it to go. Up comes Mills. Kicks it. Felk for three. And he joins the party. 56-23. Steal by the Indians. Over to Dunbar. At the buzzer, and it's good. Your Peters Township Indians, 58. And the Ringgold Rams, 23. We'll be back in 10. And we're back for the second half. Peters Township Indians versus the Ringgold Rams. Early start here on Tuesday. And the Rams will have the possession arrow and inbound. Rams look a little more, nice drop pass. Rams look a little more ready to run an offense. Nice. And, and Gotti gets it to go. Indians up quickly, Dunbar open for three, in and out. And up come the Rams, three on two. And they can't get it to go. Miller, he gets grabbed on the deck, ends up on the deck. Indians ball. So the Rams are gonna go full court and they just leave an Indians player, Vaccarello, wide open and Miller goes the full distance for the easiest basket the Indians are going to have all night. 60-25 Indians. Indians collapse. Three is on the way off the front. Nice rebound by the Rams. Three is up again off the backboard. Baccarello to Donovan. Donovan drives in. Takes contact, can't get it to go. Vaccarella with the offensive rebound around the horn to Miller. Boom! Nate Miller. That puts him into double digits. Rams give it away. Vaccarello across half court. He's just going to go in until somebody stops him, and nobody does. That's four for Vaccarello. Indians just not letting up on the defensive end. Look to trap, but they pull out of it. McCullough pressuring the ball with the switch. Donovan now. Right idea, bad execution. McCullough goes in. Easy layup with the left hand, nicely done. Oliver looks to operate on the left side, switches out, kickball, Rams. And we're gonna get a five for five here. Indians have run five out, or have run 10 out, I'm sorry, I meant to say 10 all night, so these guys are all pretty fresh. Rams not as many, although they've had to because of foul issues. 
And we're going to get a foul on. On Lucas Rost. And they're going to call out a shooting foul. First one's off. And the second one's a bit short. Rams sticking with the full court. They may want to drop somebody back. Vaccarell is down there again. Wide open. As my grandfather would say, that's a tough way to run a railroad. And again, an Indians foul. Lucas Ross making his presence known very quickly. He gets picks up his second foul in a matter of moments. And up come the Rams. He dribbles through. And we're going to get a foul on, I'm guessing it's Greco. No, Lucas Rust. That would be three in a short period of time. I don't know if you can notice by the clock, we are at a running clock at this point with the Indians up 69-25. Nice move by Dungy. Apologies to the Dungy or Dungy family. I don't know the pronunciation. Uh, shuffled the, as they say on CBS, they shuffled the, shuffled the puppies. Nobody coming to the ball. An easy steal by Mills, up with numbers. Mills goes in, and he'll draw the foul. That'll send him to the free throw line to shoot two. And Gotti picks up his first. Good stroke by Mills. Two twelve left in the third. Second for Mills is good. That gives him six this evening. Rams. Thomas, Lomax, and Wilson. Two freshmen and a sophomore enter for the Rams. We're going to get them some time. Starting to wonder when the Indians are going to do the same. Indians relentless on the defensive end. Rams get it across half court. Rams. And we get a five for five for the Indians. Yeah. 
Rams. 45 and counting in the third. Nice drive off the backboard though. Up come the Indians with 26. Vaccarello kicks it to Donovan. That's off the front end. Rams control. And up come the Rams with numbers. Nice bounce pass. And he gets it blocked by Dunbar. But stays with it and gets it to go. Tolliver. Donovan goes in, kicks it. It's good if it goes. And it does go. Jack Dunbar adds to his total. That gives him 22 through three quarters. Beautiful. Beautiful pass out after Donovan got to the teeth of the defense into the lane and just kicked it out. Dunbar did not have much time to get it off, but he did. And... That gives the Indians a 74-29 lead. So the Indians, with a running clock, still manage to get 16 up on the board in this third quarter. While the Ringgold Rams added six. So coming up for the Indians, next game... On the 12th, they will be at Trinity. And then on the 16th, they've, next week, they've got a big week coming up. They've got a, a date at home with Bethel Park, which should be a good game, and also a big determination on where the section ends up. And then Friday, have a game with Mount Lebanon, non non-section game. Indians run their set. Vaccarello loses it as he goes in. Rams up quickly. Nice pass to the wing. And we're gonna catch Donovan on a pass. Or I'm sorry, on a foul. He got his right hand on top of the ball, but he, I think he bodied him a bit. That's his first. Thomas can't get the first one to go. Second one doesn't go. Up comes Donovan from five, in and out. Mickey Vaccarello has just been a beast underneath. McCullough playing some good defense on the outside. Rams look to get the ball to the inside. Drop step. Can't get it to go. Donovan with the rebound. Tries behind the back. Off a ram, off a Dunbar. Rams ball. Maybe a little much there. But I guess if you're going to do it, you can do it on a night like this when you have a, such a lead. Near steal. Donovan does knock it away. And we're going to get a travel on McCullough. Good hustle play. 6.30 to go in the game. Indians with three starters out. Foul on the floor. I think they're going to get Miller. That'll be his First, he's in double digits. He's got 10 points. Team second. Close to a five count, but they do get it in. 
Dunbar goes for the steal. They've got numbers. Three on the way. Off the back iron. Miller up quickly to McCullough. Nice pass by McCullough and Donovan finishes. There we get Vaccarello with a foul. Sending Tolliver to the line. Tolliver's got 13. Tolliver has been the team's leading scorer the last two games. Number three, Ben Miller gets his first look of the evening. Seventy-eight, twenty-nine, three twenty to go, and that free throw is good. Now the Rams are going to drop back into the man. Greco makes a nice move and scoops, going to his right and gets a left to go near steal. Oh, they're going to get number thirty-five, Jaden Greco. That's only his second. Tolliver looks to operate from the high top of the key. A lot of standing around for the Rams right now. And it's just a plain giveaway. Mills, Euros. Can't get it to go, but he'll draw a foul. He got bumped across the forehead. Mills will shoot two. First one's in and out. Lomax picks up his first. 4.18 to go in the game. And the second one's good. Another freshman in for Ringgold, Mason Kolich. 6-2 forward. Nice baseball pass in. And Miller stops him. Numbers for the Indians. Three on the way. Off the iron. Up come the Rams. Nice try to no look, but uh, Thelk says no. Rams ball. DeLeo in for the Indians. And number 20, Evan McCullough. Rebound by McCullough, up comes Miller. Kicks it out, three on the way, off the front. Up come the Rams. 10 footer off the backboard, up come the Indians again. And a bit sloppy, Indians. Lucas Rost in. So we got Miller, Rost, McCullough, Thelk, and DeLeo. Indians running their man-to-man -man offense. 
Drive and kick, three out. Off the back iron, Rams control it. Up they come. Nice steal by McCullough. <clears throat> Three is on its way off the front. Controlled by the Rams and up they come. Indians get back pretty good. And there's a nice shot by number 12, Dimitri Lowe. And we're going to get a quick timeout. I believe the Rams have called their this time out. So 151 left in the game. Indians up 81-33. Fairly impressive showing by the Indians. And the Rams have some new players out as well. Back door cut. Saved by Miller. Three on the way off the back iron. DeLeo. Nice move by the freshman. That's number 35, Mason Kolich. That gets him on the board. It's a foul on Evan McCullough. Can't get it to go. Miller brings the ball, comes out of the pack with the ball, looks to run. McCullough drives and kicks. Delk to the corner. Another kick. Three on the way. And it's good. It is just peppering the Rams with threes. Nice steal. Oh, and they lost the handle. 40 seconds left in the game. That gets Evan McCullough on the board. Luke Thomas into the game for the Indians. 25 left. Indians. And we're under 10. The Indians looked inbound with five. And I do believe that that's going to do it. Lucas Russ dribbles it out, and we are done. Your final score, Peters Township finishes with a decisive victory. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you at the next game.